What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today, uh, we are, st well, I guess I am starting to get the old motor, um, like the parts off it that I need for the new motor. And the, uh, around here, there we go. I'm using my phone tonight. Figured out a uh, better way to do it. So yeah, uh, just cleaning everything up. As you can see, I started chiseling it away. Um, right here, I noticed that you know, I got a mount that's floppier than old cock. Need some Viagra. So these are 15 bucks or so. I think at the parts store. So I'm gonna grab two of them. This one's still tight from all the years of oil and grease and grime dripping on it. Kept it nice and lubricated. <laughs> uh, that one's still tight, ready to go. But I'm just gonna pip it, pip it, and get them both out of there. Uh, I got the transmission, as you can see. Uh, held up on the jack. I'm going to put a piece of wood under there just to support it more. Spray some brake cleaner in there. Get it cleaned out better. Take the wire, wire brush and zip around. Get that all done. Uh, I might cut that exhaust pipe. Um, really not much. I, I wanted to like paint all this up all nice, right? With like some like rust paint. But I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to do the mounts, clean it up, and uh, we'll go from there. In the future, I could always, you know, do that, but she'll be good for now. But like I said, I got um, the mounts off of this guy here. Ooh, the camera is all fucky with my face. There, I gotta, there we go. That's better. <laughs> it zoomed in on me. Um, yeah, I got, I have to jack it up to get this side off. But I got the mounts off of this guy. Spin around here. Camera's all weird. I got the haters going, so you'll hear that. Got that guy there, that guy there. Now, these I gotta keep on, I'm guessing. These outer plates. I don't know what they're for. But. I think I have to have them because that's what this recess here I think is for this maybe no I I don't know we'll find out yeah I'm having a hard time with this camera I think I might just go back to my GoPro even though it's a garbage <laughs> uh, but yeah so that's where I'm at right now uh, just cleaning everything up and uh, that's pretty much it. We'll be back when uh, I got it all cleaned up and uh, looking good to go. This motor too will be gone like right away. It's gonna be up and gone to the farm, which will be awesome. So stay tuned folks, we're gonna have a lot more to come. Thanks for watching. All right guys, it's been a few days uh, since, well, I filmed the last video. Um, yeah, I had some issues with some part, other parts not fitting and had to order some other, a lot of trial and error. Um, so, okay, I, ended up, I got this mount off. There was no problem at all. I ended up taking the wire brush to it, cleaned it up, gave it a nice little coat of paint just to, you know, keep it. It's, it's like, well, it's a structural mount. I don't want it to rush through, right? So keep it as solid as we can. That one was that one was fairly s no problems, right? This side here. Now, as you can see, I have it all ready for paint. The reason I haven't painted it yet is well, I took the paint home because it's a million degrees out, minus a million. I didn't want it to freeze, so I took it home to keep it warm, and I forgot. So, but this mount here, guys. Let me zoom out so I can get better position. Ugh. In order to get those two top bolts out you have to go under the truck with like a million different fucking extensions and like angles I just did this like literally like before I picked up the camera um, a million wiggles and ziggles to get in there to get to that bolt right that back one there is a bitch too to get to this front one is easy as fuck because it's just right here right you can just get under there boom no problem at all Okay. Now, and he's, what you, I ended up having to do was drop in the front diff. 
as you can see, gave me a lot more clearance now to get in there to put them back on. I should have done that to begin with, but trial and error, right folks? <laughs> but what do you do? So, but as you can see as well, I have the transmission cleaned up. I didn't wire brush the bell housing yet. I'm going to do that soon. Okay, I thought... Hang on. Yeah, I thought it cracked right there, but no, it's just the drain hole. Okay, cool. So that's good to go. Motor. Gone. Took it out to the, my auntie's farm. Uh, got that all done, thankfully. Let's see what else new updates we've got going on here. Ah, uh, this mount. Before I can put the front end on. Gotta get a new mount. So... Not a big deal, really, right? 350,000 kilometers on this Tahoe. Mounts, it needs mounts. Oh, that mount. This mount here is good. So, that, that worked out. Now, speaking of mounts, I'm going to show you guys something. that I just did a video on it uh, yesterday. Yesterday to me, uh, I don't know when you guys are going to see it, but we're going to be doing a giveaway, I think for the uh, ICT mounts that were on here. They did not work at all with my factory clamshells. You guys will see that in the video. If anybody saw my Instagram, they saw it. And I was, I was upset. Uh, I ended up taking that down, like deleting it, only because the, guy, the, uh, the seller did me a huge solid. Now I didn't tell him anything about, you know, that I'm a humble, low fuck, super low fucking numbered, you know, YouTuber that like barely exists. I'm just a guy right now building vehicles. Yeah, see it's off of there. All right, I'm just a guy barely existing. <laughs> like literally barely existing with my two kids and my project. Um, I didn't say none of that. I was just like, hey, yeah, you know, they didn't fit. You know, it, it sucks, right? They were like, oh, yeah, no problem, no problem. Um, yeah, you can give them away, keep them, whatever, instead of shipping them back, which is a you know pain in the ass nowadays because of COVID or whatever. They're like, yeah, just keep them. So that was cool. They really refunded me the money, which I'll get more into this in when I, because I have the video to do for it, like part two of it. Um, yeah, they refunded me the money, and I ordered a new set which cost me well more than double and they are not the ones I wanted to use they're the sliding dirty dingo ones I didn't want sliding mounts because you know I don't want my motor and transmission I don't want this shit sliding around right but they fit now after I ordered them a friend sent me a link that ICT makes the same mounts that come with the new rubbers because as you can see down here don't mind the mess folks don't mind the mess I'm gonna I burn all this stuff so this is the one I just took off of the driver's side as you can see it's cracked it's not you know weak and moving around yet but she's it's time she got done in right oh yeah she's the longer it's out of the truck the more and more it's getting broken which is weird because this one is the same way. Like, look at this. <laughs> My goodness. Like, yeah, that was the passenger side one, folks. The longer I had it out of the truck, like when I was showing my mom and stepdad how bad it was, it just kept falling apart. Like, so, yeah, you get new of the new mounts I'm gonna get those here pretty soon and uh, I got the new motor mounts coming they should be here for me in about a week and a half two weeks it said eight days shipped um, yeah so I could have done the ICT mounts like I said after the fact I could have canceled my order and been like no and paid and got the mounts with they come with the new clamshells 
that are down there. There we go. I'm, I'm using my phone again. So yeah, it comes with those. But I'm going to get those first. <coughs> Sorry, folks. Don't mind me. It's cough and cold season here. And it's the time of year, right? So, yeah, I'm going to get that all cleaned up. 92, 98. I have no idea what that means. You guys know what that means? I know it means that the frame, I think, is, a 90, is made in a stamp to 98. So is that, is this the number, the 92nd frame made in 98? I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. That would be actually really cool if this truck being in the shape it's in right no rust except for like you know I showed you guys a little that's that's it's fucking no rust right <laughs> in relative terms this thing is no rust um yeah 300,000 350,000 kilometer no rust and the first 100 made in 1998 out of probably millions of these fucking things made, right? Like, wow, that'd be cool. But I don't know, comment down below, you guys. You know your, you guys know your stuff better than I do. I don't know, fuck all when it comes to anything. So, but that's uh, yeah, that's where I'm gonna end it today. And uh, yeah, the old stash is fucking. It's a dirty push broom. I tell ya, it's a dirty push broom. I love it though. So, stash life. But yeah, anyways, we'll be back uh, when I uh, figure out what I'm going to do next. <laughs> Aside from, you know, what, clean it up, paint it up, put the mounts on, and then uh, probably, we'll be back probably when we get the new mounts for the uh, other motor. Or uh, the new mounts for this one. Maybe I'll do that in our next video. I will be putting the new mounts in. Sound good? We'll see you then. Love you guys. God bless.